We were given these beautiful grapes today. Yeah, look at those. Holy those. smoke sunshine and off of them. That's our dinner. It's um, just I made a basmati with um, I cooked it with the um, tomatoes and then I put a sauce on it and uh oh and our kale juice carrot whatever. Anyway, so that's what we're having for dinner today. Oh, wow. And actually, I think I'm going to be warm here. You're probably not, though. Yeah, I am a little sun. cool there. Yeah, I'm in the sun. Believe me, once I get this stuff under my belt, I'm going to be hot under the collar. Yeah, mine's pretty thick. Well, it's Dave. Now, this stuff ready. Oh, jeez. God, I got this ginger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a really awful. Oh, boy. It's yeah. getting easier though, you know? Like, I think I could do it even without the water chaser, because it used to be I'd have to get it right away. Now, I can sit here. I'm still making yuck face, but... So these lilacs are gradually getting their shape back? They seem to be picking up. I'm glad, because I was worried I was going to have to do some major yeah. trimming to get them. Oh yeah, you can barely see where these li that lilac limb came down. Yeah. The trouble was uh, this limb here this was down was so down far too, it was yeah. exposing it. So, so I'll, it's not going to make I'll much see. difference. Well, I, I'll have to trim this one up. It's way too low. We can't even walk under it anymore. It's not going to pick up more than that. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. But, whatever. Well, Later lots. Of, I see uh, lots of people lose a lot of things. Yeah, you know? I know. I'm glad. I've seen worse. You know, like we've worked... Uh, you remember uh, hmm. when they uh, brought everyone in to do snow, uh, snow, snow removal or tree stuff? Oh, when the trees were breaking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it used to be terrible. Well, I complained um, one day because, um, not for myself, I was working with somebody, I was driving the truck, and uh, we were picking up branches, and we were going around, and um, yeah, yeah, the ones as the trees are the breaking under the weight of the snow, we're sent out to go pick up the branches that have fallen. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we're doing that. Yeah. Uh, and your hard hats are really going to help. Yeah, the hard hats are really going to help when tree branches this like that big around or come come slamming down. Yeah, so see, like, anyway, oftentimes if it's not serious, they'll come down like this. Yeah. You know, that's it. They slow. Yeah. You got a little bit of green here. Here. Up higher. You're. Yeah. You're. Let's see. And they're just rub it a bit. There you go. See. Yeah. You spread it around. A little yeah. bit of green looks like, but it's, mm. it won't be noticeable in the camera. Anyway. But yeah, when they come and down, like, you know, it's not even rifle shots because no, a rifle so shot, uh, it's probably more I like mean, a you cannon hear, shot. You hear a crack. Yeah, yeah. But and it's not enough time to slam mm, out of no, the way. No, you wouldn't. Uh, the worst I ever saw was, I'm sure it was still August. Yeah. So pretty well full leafage. Yep. And a heavy snow, not like what we had the other day, but mm -hmm. I was walking home and when I got into the Elm neighborhood, I knew it. Mm -hmm. It was scary. Just wham! You know, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they're not, they're not meant to be here. I mean, we have them as street trees all over. But here in southern Alberta, we get a lot of precipitation in the winter as, as snow. Yeah. actually and you don't notice it because it keeps melting but yeah. when it comes down all at once like this oh you notice it when yeah. the trees are breaking all around you yeah. because um they're not meant to be up here the only trees that would be in this area would be right along the river bottom that's it yeah i almost have bad crotches there mm -hmm. as they that is an act, exact term so yeah. i'm not making some sort of no no semi food pun but anyway, so this one time we were um, clearing the tree branches, throwing them in the back of the truck, and um, 
the guy that I was working with, he was a nice young guy, and he had played sports and he was going to be, he was on his way to be promoted into the system because they like to promote people who've played uh, sports in university. So, what do you mean is not promoted in sports, but no. promoted in, yeah, exactly. Into management positions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, he was going to be promoted, so he definitely was not going to speak up for himself, uh, but uh, he was working with me. As a lot of these people who are on their way to get promoted within the government organizations, like um, municipal government, they're, um, they're plunked into all sorts of different areas. So it looks like they have a lot of experience within the organization. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way that um, a passive, hardworking person is going to get those opportunities no. to be plunked in all over different areas of parks or whatever working with they're not going to get that they're going to be plunked into one area and that's where they're going to stay mm -hmm. and um but anyway so he's working with me and he didn't normally work with me he might have worked with me only that day as far as like i it might have been a couple days he worked with me but usually it would only be one day when they were moving people in that they wanted to promote so anyway, he was working with me and um, we're picking up branches and then uh, we get whatever we're done doing, done, and <laughs> he, um, my speech, not so good, haven't been sleeping well lately. Uh, so anyway, he, yeah, I get back into the truck to go and he's coming, he's talking to uh, a homeowner or whatever. And um, so then he, as he's getting done talking to them, he's walking towards the truck and a huge tree branch, the size, I mean, my waist isn't that big around, but the end of it's this, about as big around as my waist and it's huge. Something like, that big, you can't describe how heavy it is. No. So anyway, it slams down on the roof of the truck and big dent. And uh, as it's rolling, it cracks the windshield and it rolls against the passenger side door, so right where he would have been coming into the truck mm. just then. Um, so had he not been talking to that homeowner, that would have been on his head. So anyway, mm. the passenger side door dented in far, mm. like like it had been hit by a truck mm. so far. So And that's just one branch, one yeah. instance just like that. So mm. when we went in, I reported it. The, how am I? I can't not report it. I have this truck that has dents all over it. Yeah. How can I not report it? So I reported to my supervisor. I doubt there was any paperwork that went up about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the guy who was in line to be promoted, he's like, oh, it's not a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. And I'm like, it's a near miss. I have to report. It's, a, you know, but. It's a near death. Near experience. death. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about new near death experience. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's those are dangerous jobs. When yeah, forestry is dangerous. Mm -hmm. and that's one of the most dangerous things. So anyway, enough about that. We'll see how much time I have to talk about these. Oh, plenty of time. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's a pretty good guy. Oh, he's a nice guy. Very good athlete. Oh, I, I adored his girlfriend. Yeah, it is the guy you're talking yeah. about. So anyway. Yeah, she's very nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you managed to keep her, but wow. Yeah. She was lovely. Yeah. He anyway. gone like uh, so many athletes seem to be quite intelligent. He, oh he yeah. Did. He actually read books. Sure, but I mean, he knew the system and he knew he wasn't going to be able to complain or you know bring that up at all. I think you're right. A, you know, it's a. As it turns out, I think he had it somewhere else. So. Well, he was probably too nice for the system. It could be. Anyway, um. So Deadly Class Season 1, 
this is just terrible. Now I couldn't get the second DVD to play because I my player does not like these purple DVDs. Maybe your player likes you and doesn't want to subject you to this. Maybe. Because honestly it was so bad. But it sure um, seemed bad. it's like um some foster kid or uh, somebody that was um, the result of poor parenting um, as a teenager decided to write this up and it's it's this class where um, the school for people who wants want to be violent sort of aggressive types right and so you're really supposed to be rooting for um, for these guys who are I mean especially this one right He's, he's the big hero. But really? I mean, at one point... They're killing innocent they're, people. Yeah, like he he and uh, a buddy, they kill this... Um, well, he. Mostly. The buddy is gets the credit for it. But it, anyway, you'll if you watch it, you'll see. Uh, kill this um, mentally um, troubled hobo and then set him on fire in a dumpster like um anyway yeah. um and there's this uh guy who who's after him to kill him and he has sex with goats and there's this really stupid scene he's i don't know why he's having sex with a goat and then there's this bag of bricks that he's set up in the barn on a string so then when the policeman comes in he lets the string and and the bricks fall on the policeman but it doesn't even make sense it's like that's sort of a looney tunes kind of way to kill somebody like oh can you move over just a little bit yeah, mr right. police officer because because i got a bag of bricks i have a bag of bricks barn, but, and, right? yeah exactly you got to stand right there house. like it's ridiculous um so anyway not worth watching yeah uh, and I mean the it's obvious when you have somebody that's there's one group of people that people refer to as often when they're making fun of them without knowing about anything about their religion or anything they call them goat something yeah. so this is really violent and it's showing where things are going. This is what children, teenagers, are watching and and um, wanting to become like. Uh, so the aggression, you're supposed to be <coughs> rooting for this guy, who he's his big enemy is a goat humper, so he's gonna have to kill that guy. You know it, right? And it's scary. It's scary not not it's not scary, scary the show isn't scary itself it's disturbing that this is where things are heading Looks so like. anyway the complete first season of mayans another one not worth watching now i do like the scenes with the dog yeah the dog's kind of interesting I'm yeah waiting he's, for him he's to the actually, best character in the in maybe the, show. the best actor too but. might be mm -hmm. um and uh, it's basically about a bunch of gangsters, and you're supposed to be rooting for them, I think. Yeah, like What's you don't get impression? that impression with Walt White, do you? No. He's a nasty guy, but yeah. of course, I mean these people are people of color, and yeah. they've been downtrodden, and they can't help it. This one guy's the the guy in the middle there's got he's the rookie. You see that what he is? And uh, they call him a prospect or something like that. And he's got a photographic memory and he reads books mm -hmm. like that's going to happen. Come on. Anyway. Anyway, it's a motorcycle club. They're mm -hmm. Latinos or something like that. Um, but, yeah, yeah, maybe. Any maybe. more to say about it? Well, I don't. I've never heard of a Mexican. No, I'm sure they have them. You know, like Mexican Hells Angels or whatever. I don't know anything. For all I know, this is the name of an actual gangster band, yeah, could be. gang down 
whatever. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about these sorts of people, mm -hmm. but I don't want to. Not particularly. I know they're not passive people. I know that they they make they live by the sword and they die by the sword. No. I just wish they'd hurry up and kill each other off. All the Okay. Oh well. Too busy killing innocents. Mm. NCIS, the 16th season. That's 16 too many. Wow. So don't like worry it? about these guys because you have this guy, Mark Harmon, to Go ahead. take uh, take care of the whole situation for you. That's right. Navy, whatever it mm. is. Navy criminal investigation. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? I've never heard of such a thing, but I guess it's not. Oh, I have no idea. Anyway, my mother likes this show. So I watch it. Mm -hmm. When I do, I think of my mom. Because mm -hmm. my mom works so hard. She always has. If she's not working her time away for very little money, then she's um, volunteering it away for zero money. And um, because this is how, this is the life of passive people. You, um, you are not compensated fairly for your labor. And uh, then so she goes home exhausted and she makes herself a big bowl of salad <coughs> and uh, pours on some dressing and grabs a pop and eats and drinks and falls asleep in front of the TV. So that's what she does. And then she wakes up and she starts her all over again. And uh, and a lot of people live this way. So it used to be she had my dad to be cooking and doing <coughs> the other things for her, but she doesn't anymore. But she's made enough money that she can pay other people to re-shingle her roof for her and stuff like that, I suppose. So I suppose she's all right. Anyway, I wouldn't say NCIS is worth watching. It's not bad. It's not good. I fall asleep in front of the TV too when I watch it. I, I fall it's, asleep. The, I do have one problem with NCIS. Yeah. And that's the theme music. At the end of the show, when it kind of like, gets a little oh, dry, and then I wake you up. You want to get up? You don't want. Well, that's one thing. And you don't want to let it run through too many cycles, no. you know, like you've got to get up and get it off. Yeah, you got so. to get it off. Yeah, so, yeah. And they don't have a play all feature. So every single episode, the most I'm going to get is, what is it, 50 minutes or whatever worth of sleep? That's it. And then you're waking up. And yeah, then if I'm you get play up. all, it's, it's pretty good. Play all with this, I could go, I could have really good sleep. Oh. I wanted to mention another thing. Um, oh, unless you want to go in. You want to go in? Yeah. Okay, that's it then.